In the last video, we interpolated the range, okay? And this was our graph, our result. So we know that we can look at this graph or we can look at a table and see where things would potentially end up. If we went to 10 degrees, we could see this, okay? Um, what does that mean? I can bring this, make this a little bit bigger. So if we were at 10 degrees, you could see the uh, you could see where it's where, where the ball would potentially land and it's about 0.628 so if we go over here and we went to 10 degrees you could see that it's about 0 0.6 so it depends on how people want to look at it whether it's a graph or whether a table okay depends on uh, what industry so now we want to go to extrapolation so let's go ahead and duplicate this and we want to keep this, so I'm going to go ahead and call this extrapolation. Extrapolation. Okay, so now we have extrapolation there. Saving it. We're going to change the title of this. And even though um, we have all of this, we're going, to, we're going to go ahead and duplicate our interpolation page. We're going to call it extrapolation. Extrapolation. So we can keep interpolation there and just move our extrapolation to the end just because that's the way we're processing things. So now extrapolation is when you can go beyond the two points that you have well-defined. In interpolation, we have two points that are well-defined zero and 20 degrees and all of the points in between they are predictions okay um, now we're going to interpolate and in our interpolation we can go beyond the numbers that we have we can go below zero degrees we can go greater than uh, 20 degrees okay and so let's go ahead and change the title here and instead of doing all of that let's just put an extrapolation extrapolation Right, so we have extrapolation up there. Still going to be angles in degrees and range uh, in meters. So I have range in meter, but that's fine. Okay. So now that we have extrapolation and range, what we want to do is we want to produce an equation of a line. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go up and select layouts. And then we're going to select f sub x. That means that it's going to be a function. And you'll see that we have ourselves a, an equation of the line. This is y equals to the slope times x plus the y-intercept. So this is the same thing as our y, um, our uh, linear equation. And so our linear equation has a slope. It has an x and it has a y-intercept. If x is 0, which would be right here. This is our x-axis. If x is 0, then y equals to 0.39. And that's what we see right here. It's intercepting the y-intercept right here. Ooh, it's, it's touching. <laughs> it's intersecting uh, the y-intercept right here. Mm. Okay, something like that. So let's get rid of this legend over here. There's no need for us to have it. I don't believe linear predicted range. Predicted range in meters. Nope. So the way we're going to do that is go to Elements and get rid of the legend by selecting None. Okay. The only problem that I have right now is that I can't move this equation around. You know, I would like to put it in different places. But on the desktop, you can do all kinds of things. So um, that is awesome. And that's pretty much it. Okay.